So now that we've got that calf clean, whether we've rinsed or washed, we're gonna take them back to the chute. And we, this is an easy step to skip, and it, but it's really important. We wanna make sure, especially when we're training that hair, we wanna get that hair parted. We wanna get it all going in the right direction before we come back and we start with our blower. The other thing it does is it allows us to kind of train that hair and we're stimulating hair growth. My two go to, my go to combs are a plastic fluffer. Okay, this one's got pretty nice hair. If he didn't have as good a hair, we might go to like a regular, regular tooth comb. Um, but we're gonna use a, a plastic fluffer and then we've got our wide range fluffer. So I'm gonna kind of use them both in tandem here. I always come up here and I approach the calf slow. I'm gonna come up here kind of around their tail head and I'm gonna see, you can see where this hair is kind of going this way, it's going that way. The first thing we wanna do is just get that hair kind of going all the same direction. So I'm gonna come up here in their top line and I'm gonna kind of get it all going backwards if you will, okay? Just get it all going the same direction. Usually they have a colic here or a colic here. We wanna make all that hair kind of go backwards to start with and kind of down. And so we're gonna get this hair going all the same direction. Now, on the feet and legs, we'll start with it down and we're gonna work our way. The reason I like this wide range brush in tandem with the comb is down here on the legs where you've got joints, you got high spot, low spots, we can go around this leg pretty easy and you can get 360 degrees around that leg pretty easy. You can wrap around into the inside of that leg. But this first round, we're just getting all that hair going the right direction, okay? We wanna get it down, forward. And so just as a rule of thumb, when we're combing, that first comb, we're getting it all going in the same direction, whether it's down on their top line, we're going backwards. We just wanna get that flow. Then we work our way towards that front foot. Then we work our way towards that shoulder. And then we work our way kind of more towards their head or their ear, okay? Slowly make that transition. If we bring them off the wash rack and just come in here and go right to their ear, what happens is that hair naturally wants to lay down. Well, you're going against the grain and you're gonna see swirls and colics. So get all that hair kind of going the same direction. Now where it's really important is, the reason I put this hair kind of backwards on their top is because that's the way it naturally wants to lay. So I'm gonna take my comb because my comb's just a little bit more precise and I can really part this hair. I wanna get directly down the top line of this calf. Okay, so a lot of times I'll even step in behind the calf so I can see I wanted it, their top line to be in line with their pole right here all the way down to their tail head. So I'm gonna come here in the middle of their back and I'm gonna start taking half the hair to the right side, half the hair to the left side. We're gonna keep that part all the way down their top line on both sides. Until we get to kind of the point of this shoulder, usually you'll see a break or a, or a colic, and you can see on this calf, it happens to be right here. All this hair naturally wants to go forward here, so I'm gonna take that hair more kind of forward, and I'm gonna part this down their top line, okay? Now when we get back here where the tail head starts, where that juncture where it starts to go into their butt, what we wanna do is we want to take the, the part off the side of the tail head. So I'm gonna take this up and I'm almost making like a little mohawk with their tail head. Now, this is where we get a question a bunch is, you know, how high do I want this part? Do I want it here? Do I want it down here? This is really important in the hair growth cycle because this is where we start training that hair. It's no different than our hair. We can train that hair to where the, your, your hair lays off of that part. Okay, so this part line, that, that hair will start growing that way. So I always tell kids, always err to being more up on that calf, up on that tail head. If we get down here, what happens is we make this, tail, this part down here. What it does is it visually, it just looks like it's the, it kind of runs downhill. It runs off their hip. So get this up here a little higher and you can see where the crevice of their butt starts. That's kind of where I use as a guideline to start that part. So you'll see where we can start to get that kind of mohawk look up here a little bit. And the tail head as well as your belly hair is some of the most important hair because that's where you're gonna start to really see the silhouette of that calf. Now, where this comes in is the comb, we're gonna use that to part it, 
But as we gradually take this hair a little further forward, we're going to integrate both of them. And you'll see where this part, we want to get as close to that part as we can. Because what that does is if we leave that part wide, where that hair's going um, each direction too far, it starts to flatten it out. You can actually train this part where we can comb through it and it maintains that part down it. But you've got to start by parting that hair there. Sometimes we'll comb through it, come back, regather our part just a little bit. So your part should only be about a quarter of an inch wide, okay? And it should be straight down that back. And why that's so important, if you integrate this into your everyday routine, that hair is going to start growing in the direction that you want it to grow in. Okay, so you want to make sure that every day we're training that and that line's in the same spot so we get the, the most out of the hair that we have. Now, down in this underline, where I go next is down to the underline. And a lot of times, just to start, I'll get this hair kind of going backwards and get it all kind of going straight down. And I'll even work on their back legs like this. I'm just trying to, again, wrap this hair where it's going forward and going all kind of towards that front leg. And then I'm going to integrate my comb in here. And this is a part that gets missed a lot just because you got to get down under here when you're standing or you're kneeling. Sometimes even right here, it's hard to see. But again, this is very important part of the calf because when the judge steps away from them, that underline is their silhouette. So make sure that we're getting this hair broke away from the hide and we're getting that worked as well. So now on the front of this calf, on the front leg, we're going to do the same. We're going to wrap this around. The front knees is where a lot of times we'll miss that hair as well. Okay. And so we want to make sure that we wrap that around and tie it into their chest for. And then I finish by reaching through their front legs and I work this hair in between their chest for. And again, that section gets missed too because it's out of sight, out of mind. So just remember, we want to make sure, to summarize, we want to make sure we get that hair all going in the same direction. And we want to make sure that we get this part consistently in our daily care routine. Every day we get it in the same spot and we part this tail head on both sides. And that's going to give you a good foundation as we transition to start drying this calf.